Hey and hello there welcome to my channel learn with Albert Pinto this video is very important for you my dear friends so keep watching without sipping sorry without skipping any part many times here on YouTube there are a couple of videos showing wrong procedure to add ads.txt file first in this video I will show you the wrong method of adding the ads.txt code in the site then i will show you what happens when we follow their procedure then i will show you the best and the correct method of adding the ads.txt code therefore my friend watch this video until the end because it is very useful for you let's begin so you have a new adsense account and you have just connected your site for adsense approval and you have got a notification saying sorry your site is not ready for adsense because of various reasons one of the reason could be because you did not add the ads text snippet or code into your site head or root directory to get your site ready to show ads copy and paste the text below into each ads.txt file and upload to your site's root directory this is one of the reason for not getting your site approved by adsense and further this can be another reason to start earning from adsense you need to add your payment info and connect your site i will show you the error that i have from adsense rejections here it is you need to fix some things and here it says that ads.txt file is not found and if you click and see what it says here are a few reasons now let's go back and click on fix now now here i have already connected my site the add code snippet is already added you can see that green arrow what i have not added is the ads.txt snippet once you click on that here you have the code here i will copy the code and will go into the site and find the plugin called but before that i will first show you the plugin so that you get clear idea let's click on add new plugin and here in search plugin i will write wp code and this is the most important and beautiful plugin which you can find here below now go to header and footer section and click here in below add the code and save your file in case you are not interested in adding a plugin remember the plugin is very essential because with plugin all your codes will remain forever even if you change themes frequently next you can paste this code directly into theme file editor go to appearance and then theme file editor here in theme files search for header dot php click on that and here below you can see the head section of the theme and simply paste the code here and update the file Once that is done, go back to your AdSense dashboard and refresh. And then if you wish to resubmit your site for fresh review, just click on I have fixed the issue and click on request for review. I am not going to review my site now since I have no traffic coming onto my site. Therefore, I will refresh the dashboard now. Remember this notification will not go instantly it can take even two three days therefore have patience and wait now comes the most important step 
that I am going to show you regarding ads.txt code, which is very important setup, which will never ever give you problems once it is set up properly. Keep watching this video until the end. Now, coming back to the code. First, you need to copy this code in Notepad and save the file as ads.txt. Do not save this file in any other name because it will not work. Next, let's minimize that. Now, I will go to my hosting provider dashboard that is DreamHost. Here, I will click on websites and then to manage websites. Next, select your site and then click on manage. Give time to open that. Next, you have the manage files. Here, you click on manage. Here, you click on your site. Now, you need to upload the edge.txt file. Let's click on upload. Find your file, search, and it is here. I will click on open, and here the file is getting processed. Give little time for it to complete. Now we will go back again to AdSense dashboard and refresh. The process is little long. Sorry for that, but it must be done carefully to make you understand. It's hard job really, my brother. Now we will see the magic. Let's see what is happening now. I will go to my site. Let it open fully. Now here you can see that full AdSense code is getting displayed publicly, which is not correct. So this mistake is happening because we have inserted the code in the plugin and in the header section of our theme. Now we will go back to our WordPress dashboard and then go to plugins and remove this code from here and save the file. Next, again we will go in the header PHP section, find the code first, remove this code and save the file. Hope you are not getting bored with this process. Well, it takes time and here you can understand how many hours one takes to complete one video. Therefore, please give your hard earned like if this video is helpful to you. Now we will go back to our site. Let's refresh. Give little time. And here you see the code is gone. Now, how do we know that our ads.txt file is present in the root directory? Let's check that. At the end, add a slash and write ads.txt. And here you see the code is present. And our mission of hard work is successful. Here, we will go back. And I will show you one more time the file. Here it is. So, finally we are coming to the end of this beautiful video. Sure this video will help you. How you like my video? Is my video simple to understand? Do you have any issues? Please let me know. The comment section is yours. It's free to write any comments. I love feedback. I love to read them. I love your comments. Thanks a lot. God bless and you take care. Bye. Bye.